Hello and welcome back. Today I have the great opportunity to talk about this HD 7770. It's got one gig of VRAM <laughs> in 2023. I'm gonna pair it up with this i9. I'm gonna see how it's rocking in games that theoretically should be running with uh, two or four gig of VRAM. Is it possible today to still use a video card that still doesn't meet the requirements today? How does a one gig VRAM video card works in 2023 all right so first off let's start with uh, fortnite all right okay i remember <laughs> uh, actually the game uh, it went straight to 720p 100 uh, 100 render scale uh, and low details on uh, performance mode i'm gonna keep it like this i think the overlay it's yeah it's good i'm gonna keep it like this and just in case we're gonna make it a little smaller and fantastic see how it's running 720p in fortnite I'm, I'm curious i'm curious how it's running with one gig of vram look look at this 0.9 vram used i'm very proud of this video card seriously very proud there is a difference i think memory allocated because i think it can can do the page file you know it can store it on the hard drive i don't know 69 degrees nice i think on 720p we are in the fantastic zone apparently it doesn't work more than uh, one one gig of vram i'm actually shocked how this video card is working in fortnite seriously 70 71 degrees uh, full gpu fine 50 percent i didn't put the gpu on uh, maximum fan 45 on minimal oh, this is uh, this is the right gpu that i want now to kill him with the 70 77 70 oh fantastic is that a shot for me oh no hey i made the kill with this this video card with one gig of vram the system is not overboard you know it's only using 9.3 gig of system ram that's actually nice but uh, the video card is still on the roll by delivering that uh, uh, that performance it's kind of kind of low you know the 25 minimal you know but Hey, this is how much he can do but he does over 100 fps hey you want to take the mickey out of this video card you can play, you can play cyberpunk with uh, this 7770 with one gig of vram and you can beast it up you know but i'm not here if it goes over 20 fps i can say it's a win seriously feels very snappy it feels okay now some internet numbers Actually, GPU memory allocated. That's not okay. Oh, GPU memory allocated. It's more than this video card has. So, uh, why you say GPU memory dedicated? Fantastic. You should have put that in Fortnite. Regardless, look at this. I don't even know what frame time I have, why I have this frame time. This is so, this is so awesome, seriously. I mean, I'm not gonna play Cyberpunk like this. It feels like a PlayStation 2 experience, you know? <laughs> but uh, I'm not joking. I like PlayStation 2 because uh, all games are retro and I still have it here in the box, you understand? And uh, actually, I should bring down the, the discs and you know? <laughs> play one time with the PlayStation 2. Just for the fun, you know? But regardless, oh, even the CPU is working today. Ow. There's a lot of pixelation, and yet I still don't know what settings I have. All right, let's see what settings we had with this. Uh, lowest resolution, ultra performance with Fidelity FX, I know that. Lowest of the lowest, yeah? Let's play a little more. You see, oh, look at the system RAM. 12 gig of system RAM. Oh, system RAM is very, it's, uh, it's starting to fill up, seriously. Why? Because you cannot use the VRAM. <laughs> This is funny. So the, if the video card doesn't have a VRAM, it throws it in the system RAM. I'm not going to play like this, but this is on the lowest resolution with uh, ultra performance fidelity FX. You can see how it's running. I get 33 FPS. So I call it a win with Cyberpunk. Seriously, it's not Cyberpunk anymore. All right, let's try CSGO and see what we can do inside this game. This uh, video card has only one gig of VRAM. so 
we're gonna see how it's running because uh, uh, this is a game that is good for this video card i got display port i got hdmi i got dvi it's like this is a kick-ass video card if you put it on high high refresh monitor you can actually use this video card look at that 100 fps i can actually play this seriously the minimals are not great on this uh, uh, configuration you know the video card you can see the video card is struggling to uh, keep up with the performance 11 fps no, the only 11 fps is not great for minimal but uh, it does really great on uh, on the fps you know one percent is great minimal no that's the refresh rate you know one can benefit from those frames having this uh, 144 cable Two kills with knife. I'm very impressed on the core, even though it sits on 98. Having uh, over 100 FPS uh, in CSGO, it just validates a video card like this. The temperature eats on the spot, but um, can actually want more, but uh, without uh, turboing, turboing the fan, you know, because I want the GPU to be quiet. All right, let's try GTA 5. Oh my God, the resolution. I think this is the lowest resolution, 800 by 600 DirectX 10. Okay, <laughs> I'm actually curious if we can actually play GTA 5 because uh, there's a 140 megabytes left on the VRAM and maybe we can actually increase the resolution. All right, let's go online. What do you think? It's gonna run? Oh my God, this is gonna be a heck. Holy. I'm gonna keep it on 800 by 600. It's actually doing hundreds of FPS. Look at this, man. When was the last time I played with so many FPS GTA 5? Okay, so the VRAM is maxed out. I'm gonna see the, how much we get on minimal and 1% because this is the only thing that I'm interested in. Actually, it's not nice, so I can go. But I'm very surprised that the GPU is on 79% load. Look at it. 79% the VRAM is maxed out but the core is not it's not dude how fluent this video card is okay let's park the car somewhere let's start with 720p look at this still 80 plus still 80 fps the VRAM is uh, decent you know I mean the VRAM it's 0 0.9 I'm, the core oh the core is maximum now on 800 by 600 actually I had 90 now I have 98% load on 800 by 600 I had 70 80% on the core but I'll still keep it like this because look at the frames it's fantastic let's go into the casino maybe we can actually spin the wheel see can actually spin the wheel RP, not again, you donkey. All right, let's try Need for Speed. Apparently, Need for Speed managed to start, but uh, uh, Modern Warfare 2, no. I don't know, it keeps giving me an error that I have to update the driver, but it did start the game one time, and it went inside, but uh, it started shading, and it gave me an error, and no, it doesn't work. But is, this Need for Speed is working. So let's uh, take a look and see what settings we have. I'm going to start from graphics, 1024. I, I want this. Let's see how it's running. Uh, I need some minimals and I need, I need some average. The VRAM is f fully loaded. The system RAM is 14 gig of system RAM. Two gigs left, actually 1.5 gig left and uh, I'm maxed out. But I'm surprised I can actually do 40, 40 FPS as average in this game with this video card. HD 7770, what's this, 2012 or something? Look at this, insane how it's working this video card. <laughs> For one gig of VRAM in 2023, I think this is hilarious to see. <laughs> Seriously, um, averaging quite nice. Thank you for your collaboration for those couple of minutes. I have now a screenshot and uh, it crashed. And uh, this was the last thing we managed to see. 67 degrees on the GPU. That was okay. 40% on the fan. 0.9 maxed. 
the VRAM was max. 14 gig of system RAM. That's the only thing memorable from this. <laughs> All right, let's try the World of Tanks because uh, I think World of Tanks would be ideal for this video card. So in the in the details, I'm using medium details, 100% render scale, and on 20. 1080p i have uh, theoretically actually have more refresh rate but whatever let's jump in and see how we're doing i just realized that, that uh, the the name of the video card was uh, too big yeah there and now i make it smaller and it says hd 7770 or an r7 250x the gpu it's actually 73 degrees i don't i don't really like that temperature you know but uh, the that one gig of vram is actually holding pretty well you know even the core both of them they are in a good situation so i cannot complain the minimals is good 38 it's playable you know it's it's not something that uh, i cannot uh, go over it because this is not a fast paced game but uh, with 75 uh, fps on average i can play the game easy so hopefully i cannot complain just Tough. there's a couple of games that are um, much better optimized you know, on the same year with this uh, with this video card like world of tanks or maybe you should put some i think if i put overwatch or paladins the the gp will do the same with high fps there's many games that can there are many games that can actually work really nice on this video card um the only thing i was shocked it was gta 5 how awesome it worked you know but i know that the cpu was doing a nice job there those cores managed to help that's it this is a very nice video card i'm not gonna lie